My wife and I, we came out traveling often uh, to Central America and, and we decided one day, you know, after our honeymoon, we were married in Costa Rica and then we did our honeymoon in Guatemala and Belize and we decided after our honeymoon that we were going to do something to help the people of Guatemala and the children in particular. We need to accomplish as much as we possibly can in, in that period of time. So our focus is on the volunteer work. Uh, we do break up the work week with some fun activities and that's that's important to see a bit of what the country has to offer. The great thing about our trips is uh, everyone who joins is, is like-minded, you know, even though we have people in their 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, and 60s. Really, it's a really great thing to do on, on your holiday. You, you come what an amazing idea. Not only do you get to see a beautiful area in the world, but you get to have a direct impact uh, when you're there, not only uh, locally, but also within yourself as well, and bring that back to your own community. Aaron Smith is the founder of Go Volunteering. You can find them at GoVolunteering.com. Hello, Aaron. Thank you. Hey man, what volunteering? I mean, that was sort of an encapsulation, but tell us about sure. this whole idea and, and movement. Really. It is uh, volunteering in its is purest sense is is the is a hybrid holiday alternative between maybe a traditional sun, surf, and sand generally type holiday with with a responsible component, whether it be volunteering or uh, or kind of a, an applied learning. It's yeah. it's just a and this experience. doesn't mean you're pouring concrete the whole time when you're in a no. different country. Sure I mean, not. This really is a mix, but it, but it gives the people, everybody talks about getting into a local culture, getting you know an understanding of the people and the place and the context and everything. And right. This is the way to do it. Well, you're working side by side with locals and on projects that are community driven. It really is a, uh, a deeper form of, of engagement and, and cultural awareness. And you're still and having And as they mentioned the in the clip, sand, surf, and all the rest sure. of it, a lot of people go on a vacation like that and they could be anywhere. I mean, beaches are beautiful. We all know that, but they don't get to know the culture. So maybe you can talk about a, a little bit about that and how you see people coming back from these trips and what mm. they get out of it. Yeah. Um, well, what people are getting, in, it's, they're getting a deeper exposure when they're overcoming challenges and working alongside with those locals. But when they come back, there is a, uh, you're a more sensitive individual, I, I think. You've, you've, that, that exposure you know, lasts with you. Mm -hmm. A lot of people go away on, on all-inclusives and three years later they can't remember the name of the resort they stayed at. That's not something <laughs> you're going to find. Or where they were <laughs> exactly. in Mexico. Well, yeah, sure. I won't name well, any names. There's connections that are made. <laughs> uh, there's connections that are made and, yeah. and you, know, you can see the videos on your website. Connections that are made that last a lifetime. I mean, these are, these are places that people help build and they go back to and they continue that volunteer. Yeah, you're, you've, you've invested yourself in, in that space. Yeah. Okay, let's talk about uh, the volunteering that yeah. you have designed for Michael and myself. I have to apologize cause in advance because my answers were dumb because I didn't know what this was for. Yeah. Or I'm dumb. How many different, uh, first of all, go volunteering. I mean, how many different organizations do you work with around the world that, that people there's, can serve? It, it kind of changes all the time as projects start and end uh, and as we bring new ones on. There's a whole vetting process. But, but right now we're about 120 partner programs. What? We have about 1,400 projects. And how and, many did this start with for you personally? I mean, well, when you we first started started off with one and uh, and then we just kind of built it from there naturally it's just I had a vision and we applied it and it just grew what and you the, asked okay. us a few questions to sure. figure out some uh, volunteering trips that Michael uh, or I can go on and you we're gonna start with Mike yeah and maybe you can explain the questions that you asked us and and what that gives you an idea of what somebody may want or like sure we have uh, a bunch of search criteria on, on our site in a search browser that, that allows you to you know, kind of personify or, or personalize those trips. And like we asked Mike what his, what his favorite animal was and, yeah. and where he wanted to go and, and sports and projects yeah. that he was interested and in. And it's fascinating. So uh, to animal I would like to work with or get close to, I said wolf because <laughs> they're awesome. Uh, and then we talked about uh, sports and, and also places that I wanted to travel. And I sure. said uh, Japan or Asia in general. Uh, how do you tie wolves into volunteering? Well, it's not. Uh, we, we have one project in all of Asia, actually, and it's in it's in India. It's in the Himalayas, and it's with Ecosphere. They're a, they're a community-led program in um, in in the Himalayas. Yeah. And this project, there's two components to it, but there's an environmental and wildlife conservation element, and it works monitoring indicator species and auditing the health of the Himalayan wolf, which is one of the most endangered species on the planet. How only many? Three hundred left. Only three hundred, and they're stunningly beautiful. Let's have a look yeah. at one of them right now. So. And you're in the Himalayas. Yeah. yeah. Like, I mean, it's just, 
Uh, yeah. And the next trip uh, is uh, for Mike. Uh, his favorite sport is the football, or is soccer, as one sure. might call it. Yeah. So how does an elephant, and where does this <laughs> happen? Well, outside of, uh, of Angkor Wat is the, is the city of Siem Reap. And Angkor Wat is, is probably most famous for its staging of Angelina Jolie and the Tomb Raider. That yeah. was uh, okay. all of yeah, those yeah. Uh, okay. temples. Yeah. So outside that, the, the main city, Siem Reap, has a lot of volunteerism opportunities. But one, the one that we have, for Mike in particular, is a... Uh, is, is a community development project and works at a community center. They're building libraries and uh, health clinics, but there's also a lot of programs with youth. And included, inclusive of that is some is some uh, soccer mentorship. <laughs> As you go and this go is play quite with the mentor. Yeah. Well, and it's uh, I, I mean the idea of it is fascinating because. These organizations that you're uh, that you're working with as well. I mean, what a huge benefit for them to be able to have people come and help with you know these labor-intensive uh, issues and, and projects. Sure. Well, they get they get projects done, but there's also an economic legacy that's left in in many communities that tourists would never otherwise yeah. see, mm -hmm. and that can't be understood. And a connection legacy as well for these organizations and the work they're doing. Right? I mean, yeah. you want to talk about having people understand the work that you're trying to do. Mm -hmm. Come and do it with us sure. for a little while. And people wouldn't think staying in a castle for volunteering, but you managed yes. to find <laughs> a castle for me, but also doing some good in a place I've never been. Right. So let's look at the picture. Fiona's answers were Asia and water to uh, <laughs> what she liked to do, any water sport, and places she liked to go Asia. So tell us where this is. Sure. I was, well, I was told that you perhaps had some princess tendencies. <laughs> I, I wonder be, which that producer right? book was uh, Diva, I think, was okay. the word. Lisa McFarland. <laughs> okay, so um, this is Rajasthan. It's, uh, it's a mahal. It's a uh, Devgar mahal. And what this is, uh, it, it's the accommodation that they have given. And it, this is a proper Indian palace. And this goes to volunteers who want to come to this part of India and work in uh, an educational setting. So support role, help teaching English and, and working with kids. And they and stay in lieu there. of you can come and stay at the palace. How cool is that? You're kidding That's me. That's amazing. Yeah, what an That's opportunity And we've got people. a few more pictures uh, to get to. I think the cruising is next. You said water sports. Next. Anything to do with water Anything diving? Anything to do or... with water, scuba diving. I'm happy in the ocean. Uh, I never would think cruising. How about What's... the anti-cruise? What's Mercy Ships? Mercy Ships is out of Victoria. They're a Canadian nonprofit, and it is the world's largest ship-based hospital. So oh. right now, I think they're in Togo. Basically, they cruise up and down uh, Western Africa, provide wow. free surgeries. Um, That's amazing. And they, they, it's unreal. Uh, they treat illnesses and check-ins. So as a volunteerist, what would I do on the ship? Well, if you've got some uh, health care or, or you know, medical skill set, they'd sure love to speak with you. She but, looks awesome in a nurse's outfit, so really? check. Yeah. <laughs> sorry. Noted. I don't know uh, why. I really? I know. Like every, everything okay, you sorry. said about my trip has had an innuendo. <laughs> it's a wonderful thing but to do for people. But this is an amazing opportunity. But there's people. also other things that the, that the ship needs on its day-to-day -day operations. There's the kitchen and then there's administering and all the paperwork that goes with everything. So you don't necessarily have to be a nurse, a doctor, a dentist, or, yeah. or anything along those lines. You can just have an investment in, in wanting to, to help these people out. It's, it's, it's amazing. amazing. And we also had a little trip that involved the sea turtles. Sure. There's, a, there's heaps of sea turtle conservation projects around the world because they are so good. Uh, this one I think we're looking at is in Baja. And uh, yeah, uh, volunteers patrol the beach at night, keeping poachers away. During the day, they're working with wildlife conservation officers in, in kind of a conserva or an incubation type of That environment. sounds so much more fulfilling than hiring one of the tour guides out of a hotel, yeah, no being taken on a sweaty bus and swimming with caged uh, wildlife fish yeah, in the no ocean. Kidding. Sure. Which is what a lot of people do, but yep. you can do a whole lot more. If you'd like to Brilliant. go volunteering, as we have uh, shown here, they really do have something for everyone all over the world if you want to check it out. It's GoVolunteering.com and uh, you'll find the website because Mike's wearing a nurse's outfit <laughs> by the cruise ship on it. Thank yeah. you so much.